Hey y'all and welcome to Moner's Market and welcome to Unicorn Dust Designs Try It Tuesday. This is one of the favorite things that I do because I get to pick someone that has created something that I love and recreate it for myself. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's get right into DIY number one. So Crafts by Caitlin made these adorable little balls. Those are mine. These are hers. Hers are obviously way better than mine but I gave it a shot. <laughs> so I'm going to use my Paris fabric that I got from Walmart that I used in a recent Paris collab. I will link that collab down below if you're interested in seeing it and have not seen it yet. So I had lots of material left over and I decided to use that material and some other material that I picked out to go with it when I originally bought this and I didn't use in my Paris video. So I just started by cutting little strips and got them all together. Now, then we took these balls, they're baseballs from the Dollar Tree. They're just little plastic baseballs, comes three in a pack for $1.25. And she cut like smaller strips than I did. And now I know why. I really struggled with getting my strips around my ball and my ball ended up growing twice the size almost. No, it really wasn't twice the size. I'm exaggerating, but it did get bigger. So anyway, this is what my fabric looked like after I got it all cut up. Now, the next thing she did is she took a little bit of water, which I don't know if you could see, but there was a little bit of water in that bowl and some Mod Podge, mix it all together and make this like decoupage juice I guess and I started to wipe it on the ball and I was like nope that's not what she did she dipped it down into you know the fabric down into that solution and I got the first strip on and decided I did not want that all over me and everything else so I did go get me some gloves and was a little bit better that way so you literally all you do is dip your fabric down in this Mod Podge and water solution, wet it, wrap it around your ball, and just keep layering it until you get it like you want it. And it could not have been any easier. It is extremely messy. Look at my hands, and that's with gloves on. <laughs> but you know what? It was fun. And I was able to do some more crafts to go along with the things that I made for my Paris video, which by the way, there will be another round two of the Paris. It's called Meet Me in Paris. And it's gonna be later, I think it's the end of May, May 28th, I believe, I'm not sure. But anyway, so I went ahead and did all three of the balls that came in the pack with this material. And I just kept putting my fabric down in that solution, wrapping it around the ball, and then once I got it all on there, I took my hands and I just sort of squeezed it, if that makes any sense, to make sure that I had as much of the moisture out of it as I could get, and that I was kind of patting everything down so that it wasn't sticking up anywhere. So once I got my first ball done, I just went ahead and did the same exact thing to the other two balls. Now, it did take overnight to dry, but what I did is just took all three balls, put them in their own little bowl. Now, those bowls that I put them in did not have anything inside the bowl. They were just dry, and I set them down in the bowl so that the wind didn't blow them off because I wanted them to dry outside on the porch. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I just cut my strips, made the rest of my, this one, see, I did a little different. Instead of doing one strip at a time, I was like, what the heck? And I just dumped them all in there. It did go a lot faster that way. And I dunked them in the solution and I swirled it all around and got them good and wet. And then I put them on the ball and it went a lot quicker. And it was a lot easier actually to do it that way. But I mean, you do you and you do, you know, whatever is easiest for you. So once I got all three of them done, I took this cute ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. There's three different types of burlap ribbon in this package. I've never seen it before, but I took one of each and wrapped it around each one of those balls. 
to finish it off. And I just thought it was so cute with that little bit of burlap on there. And then I took my little lighter and went around the whole thing and got not only the little fringes from the burlap, but the little sprigly whatever, I don't even know what you call them, strings that were left on the balls. And I just took my lighter and went all around them and cleaned them up. And look how cute those turned out. Oh, I love it. They turned out way better than I kind of had pictured in my head that they would. But again, like I said, Caitlin's are cuter than mine. And if and when, not if, because I'm going to do it again, but when I do it again, I will definitely cut my strings in half or my material in half and not try to keep wrapping it around and around and around. I saw what she did. I went back afterwards and watched it again. But anyway, so now she did a bowl. That's my bowl. This is her bowl. Look how much cuter her bowl is than mine. I mean, come on. Hers is adorable, but she's a pro and I'm just learning. So I took a, a bowl from the Dollar Tree. I took some of the same exact, mixed it the same way and did the same thing. And I just took those strips and I wrapped it around and around and around the bowl until I got it completely covered inside and out. And once it dried overnight, then I brought it in. And that's another thing, too. The balls had dried overnight before I put that little burlap ribbon around it. Same with the bowl. Everything was dry and ready to go. So this is me just taking the lighter and going through and just burning all of those little strings off. But look how pretty that looks. I mean, I think it's pretty. I love that sort of decoupage sort of shabby chic you know nothing is straight nothing it's everything's crooked everything is cut like random I don't know how to explain it I just love the way it turned out but anyway I just made sure that I burned all of those little sprinklies off and once I got them off then I went in with my burlap and wrapped it around I guess I went down about an inch and wrapped it around and Look how cute it turned out. I love the way this turned out. So to finish it off, once I got the burlap lace around it, I just took some greenery that I have had for literally ever. Don't even know where it came from. I couldn't even start to tell you where it came from. And I just put it down in there and look how stinking cute my bowl turned out. My bowl definitely turned out better than my balls did. Look how adorable. I cannot wait to see what you say down in the comments about how you think I did on this bowl. I just love it. This is my bowl, and I am super proud of it, obviously. Look at the greenery. Like, I have had that greenery forever. Now, let's get into DIY number three. For this DIY, it's this cute, simple little planner and this could not have been any easier this is caitlin's the first one was mine now let me show you how we did this i got these little planners three for a dollar 25 at dollar tree and i knew i wanted it a different color so i got it all ready and i used some 2x matte spray paint and i didn't show you me spray painting that because you've seen people spray paint things a million times but I, this is some new twine that I got at the Dollar Tree and it's beige. It's a real pretty light beige and cream color and they had red and cream and like a navy and cream. So I'm going to use this to match my other stuff. So you take six strings, you tie them all together at the bottom, then you separate it by twos and then you go down about maybe, I don't know, three inches. No, it can't be that much, maybe two inches and you just tie another knot. So you tie it in a knot, you do that around all three of them, and then you're gonna grab one, just one of the strings from one set and one of the strings from the one beside it, and you're gonna do the same thing and tie another knot. You'll see what I'm talking about right here. See how I grabbed one from each side, tied a knot? You do that, go all the way around and do that a couple of times. 
Now, my planner was a lot smaller than hers, so I only did this twice. But if your planner is bigger, by all means, do it as many times as you need to do it. But that was all there was to making that. It was so stinking cute. And then I just tied a knot in the top and the planner itself was done. So I had an idea. I had a whole bunch of this stuff left over and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna use that as a filler instead of like the floral foam. And I did it for two reasons. One, because it was handy, it was right there and I didn't have to go find floral foam. And two, because I knew some of it would show through and I thought it would, was the perfect little addition to my vignette to bring in that material to the last of my DIYs. Then I just took these little succulents that I got from the Dollar Tree. All of them are from a different little pick that, you know, I've had around forever. Look how stinking cute. Now, I literally shocked myself that I was able to do this little thing because I don't know why in my head I thought it was going to be so much harder than it was, but it was not only easy to make, but it was super quick to make. So let me know down in the comments what you think about my little planner. I am so in love with this and I can't wait to do like the same thing, but on a bigger scale. Like I'm super excited to do it on a bigger scale with a bigger planner pot. So anyway, that's how mine turned out. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. Now I'm gonna show you my final reveal. This is everything. That book in the back left, is part of my Meet Me in Paris collab. If you want to see how I made that and you have not seen the video yet, I will link that video, like I said, down below. But look how cute that bowl turned out. I love, love, love it. And then the planner and the little balls. I mean, it just all comes together. That twine is absolutely perfect for this material. Absolutely perfect. And, you know, I'm not a big succulent fan, but I kind of like this. I like the way it turned out. And I thought those succulents were super adorable. So, again, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Which one was your favorite? Did you like the balls, the bowl, or the hanger? Mine's a toss-up between the bowl and the hanger. But if I had to say one was my favorite, it'd probably be the hanger. So, I just wanted to say thank you, Sammy once again for hosting Try It Tuesday, and thank you, Caitlin, with Crafts by Caitlin for my inspiration. Their channels will be linked below as well as mine. Caitlin's video will be linked below, and my Meet Me in Paris video will be linked below. As usual, thank you for coming to Moners Market. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, you've never been to my channel before, my name is Brenda, but my grandkids call me Moner. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. Bye now.